Hey guys, welcome to the SC2K show. Uh, this is Ron Moore along with Small Tummy Wonderful or Bushido Blade Warrior, whatever he wants to be called now. And we have a special guest today, or tonight rather, whenever you hear this. We are interviewing Megadan29 from YouTube. How's it going? Pretty good, man. How are you? Thanks for having me on. Doing pretty ECW. And it's been a while. We don't hardly ha ever have SC2K shows anymore. Man, back in the day, you go through a backlog of videos especially 2009 through 2012 and whatever man we had like a lot of like audio discussion panels we call them podcasts but technically they weren't podcasts we just call them that um mm -hmm. and we would talk about various things interview a few people we interviewed goemon 047 for those of you who don't know who that is he responded to ab ab abgn's review of simon's quest and he, his channel just blew up after that Mm. Um, and we interviewed Ravna Spectre a while back. The uh, it's not just about get good, get good. Yeah. Rant. Uh, we had this <laughs> epic rant about people that talk about you need to get good at games. And we interviewed um, Magus X1 a while back. That was pretty cool. And so now we're gonna interview Megadan29 as well. I really felt like we should interview him because he's one of my favorite channels on YouTube. One of the few channels that I'm a member of. And Thanks, man. I don't give memberships out too loosely, so I'm very careful about that. And yeah, Mega Dan does a lot of retro stuff, mainly retro on his channel. He does a lot of no death runs, and he streams uh, pretty often. A lot of uh, he's been streaming some wrestling games lately, uh, some uh, Contra sh ECW sh Soldier, Contra <laughs> Shadow Soldier, yeah. Straight Outta Contra. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. So I thought I'd just pick his brain a little bit and. And he can plug his channel, and we can just talk about his cha all, all about his channel and his uh, history in gaming. And so I'm going to start out at, with Dan. What is your like earliest memories of video games? Like, did you get started with Atari or NES? What really got you hooked into really uh, getting into video games? Well, I was born in 1986, so in '86, obviously, Nintendo NES was booming. You know what I'm saying? So I grew up with that. I don't remember, is this how small I was? I was probably playing at like three or four. I don't remember getting it, but I remember having like 30 games or something like that. 20, 30 games, and we'd rent games all the time. It was a lot of NES, your Contra, your Punch Out, your uh, Ninja Gaiden, um, Super Mario, obviously. A lot of that stuff's where I started, and me and my brother would play. My brother's a couple years older than me. And uh, we would always play stuff like Double Dragon 2 together cooperatively. And I never really got into Atari, and that's why I said I was born in 86. I missed that train. You know, um, not saying that it's not good. I've never dipped into Atari, but I'd really like to. And um, yeah, so it was pretty much just NES. I did get a Genesis and Super Nintendo later. But like the early stuff that started me playing video games, wanting to get good at games and uh just spend a lot of time was always nes man so many memories of renting and stuff like that yeah i vaguely remember atari 2600 i didn't i was too young to really remember that i don't really remember playing much of it so pretty much just like you nes is where i really really got started at with super mario brothers and contra and i remember simon's quest being the first non-linear game that i played and mm. that, that was that was throwing me off because at the time that game was so hard. Ah. That game was kicking my butt so hard. And oh, it's Simon's Quest, yeah, that'll that'll do that to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, uh, Danny, you have a question for Mega Dan, Dan and Danny here. Dan, Danny, <laughs> Dan, Danny, and Danny. <laughs> the Dilly and Dallying around here. Yep. <laughs> so, which uh, NES game do you happen to favor the most? Yeah, that's my favorite one. Yeah. Oh, uh, man, I always toss and jumble this up. But I think this year I finally made my choice. And the two that I always went in between were Contra or Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. I always say, man, it depends on when you ask me which one I like better. Now, don't but contradict <laughs> yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but I finally picked... ECW Contra. That's what I. <laughs> ECW Contra. Yeah, yeah. That's what, That's what I great. Would pick. That's what Operation I would ECW. Pick is my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I would say that one just because, dude. I I find myself going back to that one just even more, and I love going through like. 
I just did a loop de loop on the challenge. A loop a loop de loop challenge on my channel is how many times I can know death it without dying. And on the first contra, I got to like the fourth or fifth loop till I died. And it gets actually harder as you go. So um, I have actually have a future project that I want to do where I'm going to do a hundred loop challenge. So Solid Nate does a uh, hundred loop challenge on Ghosts and Goblins. That's what he was working on. Wow. I'm actually going to do the Contra one, and I'm going to see how hard it gets. So man. I would say that's my favorite game, man, for sure. Man, I can barely no death run Contra one time. That when you saw you did stream, though. You that did was though. Only one time I've ever done that in my life. So doing that's it doing it hundred times, jeez, man. Uh, oh yeah, and, and let me keep that in mind. I will die in that. It's just going to be a hundred loops till I get game over. So I, I'll, uh, that's not no death. There's no way I'll do that. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. That makes sense, <laughs> man. Yeah. I want to see someone a hundred loop battle toads. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> if if Battletoad had loops, I wouldn't even mess with that. Forget that. I'm done with that. <laughs> I think Skip Rogers can pull it off. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't none of us get man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Leave it all to him. Yeah. And you know, I think it's awesome that you have kids and, and you're passing on this uh, this gaming uh, nostalgia. Um, uh, uh, I don't know how to say it. Like, Because I don't have any kids yet. One day I might have kids. And I've always wanted to, like, uh, now be in the position where you and Jay, the NES addict, are in, where you don't have children mm -hmm. and you're playing these old games that you grew up with with your children. And yep. I, I want to do that one day. I really want to do that one day. It's so awesome to like, yeah, son, this is what I play. When you're, it makes you feel old. Like, you know, when I was your age, Sonny, we played this right here. Like, that's like a baby's toy. And uh, so it's like, it's so such an awesome, that's got to be an awesome feeling to like share that with your kids. I see you have Peyton play Punch Out. And yep. that has to be awesome as a father and a kid. You know, yeah, you know, I kind of, to be honest, it, it kind of stinks. I kind of take that for granted. And you were one of the people that kind of opened my eyes up to that because you were asking me, oh, what's Peyton going to play next? Oh, I really liked your stream with Peyton playing Punch-Out. And I was like, yeah, that is pretty cool, isn't it? And it it's definitely interesting to see what he thinks of the games. Um, Nathan likes them a lot more. Nathan's my four-year-old. He definitely likes playing them a lot. Uh, we play the Super Nintendo Classic and and uh, the uh, NES Classic all the time. But uh, Peyton, he, it's very select few games. Like, I think, Ron, you were talking about him wanting to try uh, Donkey Kong Country and stuff and see if he liked it, I think is what you told me. So, yeah, that's something I kind of take for granted. You kind of opened my eyes to that. But, yes, it's very cool, man. It's very awesome. I think I was asking if he had tried Contra. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, <laughs> okay. I, I, it might have been Contra. Because it might be someone else that asked him uh, DKC, but... I was wondering what you think of Contra, because I remember when, uh, when I was about his age or maybe younger, playing Contra for the first time and get my butt kicked at it. And over the years, I've gotten better at it, but no death running it is a whole different story. Yes, for sure. That was awesome, by the way. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> I'm about to watch that moment, actually, uh, I think last night, the night before. It was they, pretty easy. Uh, I was breathing heavier <laughs> than normal. I was yeah, breathing I heavier than I normally do during the stream. I'm like, you can hear me, guy. Yeah, and I was not looking at the <laughs> chat room, uh, yeah. nothing. I was breathing heavy. I didn't care. I was like, "All right, I gotta do it this time." Because I've been to stage eight before and I get killed. Yeah, that's so frustrating that you get to that far and then. Oh you die. yeah, I I watched you on the run where you got to the very end, man, and then uh, one of those little face huggers got you, yeah. and you were just like, "No!" <laughs> yeah, and uh, so when I got to the heart, my heart was beating faster than the heart. And Contra, <laughs> and uh, yeah, then I just like yes, yeah, and so that was just yep. such an awesome moment to be able to do that live. And, isn't isn't that an awesome feeling when you finally have done it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. And, you know, it's no secret that I like to play around with games and cheat here and there, just just for fun. If I can't get through a game, I just want to stream it and mess around and have fun and talk with people. Sure. And but then yeah, I see what you mean though. Like moments where you beat a game legit with no cheats. No, um, anything like, uh, just, uh, no like, save uh, states, no save states yeah. or anything like that. Even though, uh, save states are certain that, that that's debatable. Like, uh, save states, some people say it's not cheating, some people say it is. I think, uh, in a way, it's not because all it does is just keeps you from starting all the way over. 
And in games That's like true. Ninja Gaiden, the BS uh, part where you, if you die at the Jock Wheel and you got to start all the way to 6-1, I still <laughs> yeah. think that's unfair to this day. When I was a kid, that, that just killed my determination. I'm like, nope, I'm done. I'm yeah, done. you know, as much as, as much as Ninja Gaiden is hard, I, I agree with you. I think that the reason people haven't beaten that game is when you get thrown back, it's so demoralizing. You know, you're yeah. like, oh my gosh, I got to do all of that again. You know, that's NES in a nutshell, throwing you back to the beginning. I mean, that's, yeah, that's what yeah it's like. very back in the day, games like Ninja <laughs> Gaiden, Little Nemo the Dream Master, uh, mm -hmm. Metroid. Man, those games are hard. Even to this day, I've never beaten Metroid legit. And I'm upfront about it. I've beaten Metroid, but I've cheated. I've used like Game Genie or ECW, or, no, what's it called? Um, Narpus Sword. <laughs> ECW. No, I call it ECW. That, that's a true story. Uh, the old, old school SC2K members know the story. 2009, we started this, this channel. And September, I started to do... As August and September 2009, I started to do my Let's Play of Metroid. Legit. It started out legit. And I just had enough. I could not beat Kraid. I said, that's it. And my friend Gunstar Hero 21 told me about Narpus Sword. The cheat. I go, what? Yeah, hmm. you get invincibility, all the weapons, everything. <laughs> and and, and uh, there was a part, I forgot what part, part 7 or part 8 of the LP, where I said, that's it. And, and you, I cut to the password screen, and I type in Narpus Sword, and I say, now we're in ECW mode. That was the part <laughs> of ECW mode, and I beat Kraid, and I just breezed through the game, of course, because I'm cheating. Because I really wanted to get through the game, and just to showcase it through the LP and have fun with it. And sure, so that's where sure. ECW Motors born. And so <laughs> yeah. you'll see that in various Let's Plays of mine, and I'll, I'll be upfront about it. And plus, you can tell if I keep getting hit and no damage is happening, mm -hmm. you'll tell I'm cheating. <laughs> well, what, let, me, let me say this. In, later this year, we're getting you through Metroid. We're getting you through Metroid. Oh, we, 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 yeah. <laughs> we do this thing a lot of times where I have somebody... If I already have beaten the game, and I don't mind people backseating me, what I do is we do a Master Advisor, and DJ Rudin actually did a, I did a No Death Run of Metroid, and he was my Master Advisor through that, which means he's navigating me, and I'm just making sure we don't die. So that's, not, I'm not saying that me and you, you will do that, but what I can do is I can tell you, okay, go here, Ron, go here, Ron, go there, Ron, and I have a video we definitely should try to do that. We, you can I, do it, Ron. You can do I, it, man. I, I may try that out. <laughs> Super Metroid, I can breeze through it, but regular Metroid, oh man, it's a whole different story. And you can be like, he's up, he's up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Basically, that first <laughs> Metroid that started the whole series is brutal. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. Yeah, I never got. To, I never really played Return of Samus. I've it's seen, really fun. I, I've seen Mike and James play it for Mike and James Mondays a few years ago. Yeah, and man, they were having a tough time beating that final boss. That final boss, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that, that was tough. an awesome video. Yeah, and so Super Metroid is like one of my favorite games to stream off and on because that's a game that's so easy to make. Kind of, kind of breeze through it, and just the the game itself is just so awesome. At, at first, though, it was so hard. I was thinking as a kid, man. I can't imagine how hard Super Metroid is going to be because the first one was hard. This is Super Metroid. Yeah. But over the Super years, though, ECW. I, yeah, I got I learned that it's not as hard. Once you really play, get used to it, it's not as hard as the original. But at the time, though, man, because it's at the time it was like 24 megabit, 24 megs for a SNES game. That was a big deal. And hmm. this is a huge was. game in comparison to regular Metroid. Metroid sure. is harder, but Super Metroid is bigger. And so mm -hmm. now, oh, yeah. I wish Metroid would have had a map. That probably yeah, my game. my Metroid No Death Run only took about two and a half hours. That's that's how long that game took. Yeah, yeah that's, so that's not very long. I think the fastest I beat Super Metroid maybe a little over an hour. And wow, that's quick. Yeah, so it's not a world record, but it's still uh, a personal record for me. Uh, Man, that is fast, dude. That took me. Wow, I probably spent eight or nine hours on that, probably, yeah. when I if did my playthrough. I, if I could figure out how to have, like, a counter at the top of the screen where people can see the counter as I'm speedrunning through the game, I'll try to see what record I can come up with in Super Metroid, uh, a personal record. It's not going to be a world record, but it'll be... Uh, Dude, that should be a stream. That'd be awesome. Yeah, because I've streamed that game so many times. It's like, what mm -hmm. can I do different with it in the next stream? Well, maybe... I did do a, uh, quote-unquote... It's called a Super Metroid, quote-unquote, speedrun, where there's no timer... 
so it wasn't an official timer, but it was just me saying, "All right, this is gonna, this is me trying to beat the game as fast as I can." Um, mm -hmm. And so, yeah. so uh, speaking of, yeah, so speaking of Metroid, what what Metroid game would you prefer? You're probably gonna say maybe the regular NES version, mm -hmm. but uh, what, what would be like your overall favorite Metroid game? I don't know if you played all of them or not. Uh, well, um, I was actually just trying to play through all of those, and I kind of started getting into like back into Contra, Shattered Soldier, stuff like that. So I uh, I played through Metroid 1, 2, Super Metroid, and Metroid Fusion. Those are the four I've played. So I'm getting into the Prime series. I have not played a Prime yet, because to be honest, to me, I don't know how much I'm going to like Prime. There's people that love Prime, and there's people that hate Prime. It's past its Prom. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> no, you know so what? I'm not sure. I, how I, I, feel I, about I, it. I played it, and I did get, get hooked. That's not to say I think it's a bad okay. game. Okay. But the, my confession, I have a confession to make. The only Metroid games I've replayed is the first and second. Uh, well, I'm sorry. The first one and then Super Metroid, which technically is the third one. Uh, okay. Regular and, Metroid, and Super be, Metroid. And you're going to be surprised, man. But this time, that my favorite one I've played so far is easily Super Metroid. Super oh, Metroid nice. was amazing. So nice. the yep. fact that you could beat it in like an hour, we I got to see that. I got to see that. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, a, it's a great game. Um, and I, I tried Metroid Prime. I, I just did not like the fact that Metroid was in um, first person. Um, yeah. And I, yeah. it did not do it for me. Um, mm -hmm. But apparently it's a popular series because all three Metroid Primes had gotten nothing but good, good reception. Yeah. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Pretty soon it's going to be Metroid Prime 4, which exactly. is like, yeah. Yeah, so exactly. That's what I was saying is I was like, well... If they're coming out with a fourth one, it's got to be doing something right. Because if it was so bad, they wouldn't be making another one. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, well, you know great. what? Mega Man 1 kind of didn't sell as well as Capcom hoped it would. And so it was kind of a shocker that Mega Man 2 was made. And so yeah. Capcom, they gave the developers another chance to uh, make a, another, good make, um, another good Mega Man game. And then here comes Mega Man 2, a game I, I bought the anniversary collection that... Uh, I, I forgot the company I bought it from. You can buy like a um, a blue, baby blue NES cartridge, like a, a what was it, 30th anniversary collection cartridge. Are you talking about this is back then? 8 bits. Yeah, it's like 2018. No, I bought this in 2018. It was like oh, the 30th okay, okay. anniversary of Mega Man 2, and they had a Mega Man X, Mega Man X special collection too, or something like that. Uh, and um, I had the baby blue car. I did an unboxing video of it, as a matter of fact. Mega Man 2. Uh, anniversary collection unboxing video back in September 2018 and I bought that game and yeah man that is my overall favorite video game of all time and it was, oh yeah yeah it was cool to have that and I read the uh, little letter that came with it and it said Mega Man 2 the game that almost never was because they almost just scrapped the whole Mega Man project after Mega Man 1 and, and now there's out, 11. <laughs> and they come out with Mega Man 2, and Mega Man 2 just blew the first one out of the water. And to this day, Mega Man 2 is still talked about, loved. And when I was a kid, I stumbled upon it. It became, to this day, my overall favorite game of all time. I love everything, pretty much everything about uh, Mega Man 2. I would say 2 is most people's favorite. If I had to... If I ha if I ask people what's your favorite Mega Man, they usually say two. Sometimes people say three, but yeah. uh, I I'm one of the few that actually are uh, the out of all the originals, I like the first one. I don't know yeah. why, dude. I actually I, like the first one. First one I thought was a seven out of ten was okay. I thought the mm -hmm. challenge was a little bit BSy, especially yeah. certain levels like Iceman's level. Um, and the platforming, flying platforming things that shoot at you, and I'm like, come on, man. And I, I, I live streamed that before Mega Man Anniversary Collection. It was really good on my nerves. And, oh, uh, yeah, I love that part so much. Man. <laughs> and, yeah, so. Uh, and, but you know, I like two, three, four, and five. Uh, one and six, okay. I did not get, I did not uh, care too much about. Two, three, four, and five. And five seems to get a lot of hate. Me and Star Soldier, an old friend of ours, used to do a lot of commentary with us. Um, he, uh, we, we did a let's play on this channel called, uh, uh, Mega Man 5, and the very last part, just to troll him, I, I named the final part, let's play slash discuss, Star Soldier's favorite game, and he posted a comment saying, favorite game, my ass, this game sucks, and the whole, the whole, that video is like, me and him, we did this little thing where he rage quits, but not really, 
He, he leaves the call. He's like, you know what? You guys are dumb. I'm out of here. You like this stupid game? And he hung up. <laughs> 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 and we, I finished the game. We get to the less discussed portion. I go, all right, guys, we're out of here. He goes, no, uh, uh, not yet. I got something to say. I'm like, what? What are you still doing here? You know, it's just a bit we did, but, but, but his opinions on the game was real. He really hates Mega Man Five, and so the the arguing, the level of banter back and forth between us was hilarious. <laughs> but I, I like Mega Man Five. I can see why people Love don't because it's hard to top two and three. Let me ask you this: Did you? Did anybody, Danny? Have you played anybody play Mega Man Eleven yet? I have not. Uh, I haven't quite gone to Eleven yet. Okay, really good, dude. They did an awesome job, in my opinion. What was the one yeah. that was uh, kind of like a spiritual successor to it that took so long to come out, and it finally came out a few years ago? Oh, um, it was made by the Mighty same, Number Nine. Mighty Number Nine, yes. Yep, yeah, he got it. Yep. I never played that, but what do y'all think? Me about either. It? Never uh, well, Dan, what's your opinion on Mighty Number no. Nine? He hasn't played it. Um, uh. I heard mixed things, and I remember twenty twelve. When did it come out? Twenty seventeen. So it took five years. And it came out in 2015, 2016, somewhere around oh, okay. in that range. It took a long time, and I remember I didn't play the game. I can't. I've seen it. Um, I, got, I heard mixed reactions from it. And I see yeah. where in the credits, instead of actually putting the names of the people that helped fund the project, it says Oh the backers, backer yeah. Backer one, backer two, backer I'm are you kidding me? What? What put the <laughs> real yeah, names that in there? Was just a huge middle finger to the fans that supported KG and Afune. Like put the real oh. Why would you do that, dude? And that yeah, guy's responsible for making the main developer of Mega Man Two. I wanna meet him one day and say thank you for that, but I don't. I, I personally don't care about the Mighty Number no. Nine thing. I didn't back it up or anything, but still, like, I didn't I back it up either, to be honest. If I was a backer, I'd be like, "Could you really?" I, I guess they were rushing it because it took too long, long enough to get out. And uh, so, yeah. yeah. All right, guys, I got to answer this uh, door. Y'all talk among yourselves. I'll be right back. Danny, All did right, you yeah, play? Yeah. Did you play Mighty Number no. Nine, Danny? I have it on my PS3, and for the Unreal Engine, it is just. A huge, laggy mess for the really? Unreal Engine. And some of the bosses are like, what the? F <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's rage inducing, it's frustrating, and it's like, why? So it's why like then? almost unplayable? It's almost unplayable. It's almost damn near frustrating and makes me want to pull my hair out and i haven't oh, wow. touched the game in years to be honest okay is it just yeah. as long hey, did you ever beat it i never was able to beat it because of the lag jeez it's that bad huh yeah and the bosses and the stage levels it's only because of one level i end up not i didn't per se rage quit but i just decided to take a break from it yeah you're <laughs> like, like well there's other ga great games to play why am i sitting here putting myself through this pretty much <laughs> yeah. i mean right. there's youtube videos where people actually can play and beat it and it's like good for you you just tortured yourself with the leg issues with no patches <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. They never came out with any patches to fix anything, either? I don't think they came out with any patches. Wow. From what I'm aware of, but also, if you technically bought number uh, Mighty Number no. 9 for the Wii U, and possibly bought DLC, it breaks your Wii U, and I'm like, Okay, if it's breaking the Wii U's, I'm not touching it. <laughs> but I put it on my PS3. Patches, oh, okay. Patches on Oh, what's up? Patches of Hulahan. <laughs> Patches of uh, Hulahan. I, I, I don't know if y'all got that reference. No, but, I know it's Mighty Number no. Nine. Doesn't sound very ECW. That's not. Yeah. Oh I'm, yeah, I'm that's not great <laughs> ECW. I, I mean, considering it lags to no tomorrow, and plus some levels take forever just to beat, and some bosses are very challenging. It's not supposed to be that hard, right? It's like basically you're saying it's it's a pro it's hard because you're being handicapped by how it was made, not because yeah it's yeah because hard. of the yeah. development issues, no patches, and old lag. Yeah. I, I that's well, that's definitely what I heard about it too. So now to hear that from yep. you, yep, that's that's. I mean, if you want to buy it, that's up to you. Just be aware that you're going to rage a lot. <laughs> Hey, Ron, I don't, Ron, I don't rage, do I? 
<laughs> no, no, absolutely not. Dude, nah. No way. No way. <laughs> I remember there was the, 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 the other night you were celebrating so hard. What did you knock out your router or something, or what happened? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what happened, dude. I hit that homer on Ken Griffey Jr. to win, and yeah, my I something. I'm not even near my router, bro. It's upstairs, so I don't know what happened. That was crazy. Yeah, I remember like you were separate. You hit the grand slam, and then all of a sudden you just froze, and then went offline. I go, uh, I just saw technical difficulties or something, and then you come, you come back online, and then you just so I don't know what happened, man. I, I, I was talking about uh, YouTube. Uh, you exceeded your. Uh, E your e ECW limit, <laughs> or, yeah. and YouTube cut the killed the stream. It was too ECW for the stream. That's what you put in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And for those of you not checked out Mega Dance Channel yet, man, he when he does stream, I think maybe what, what three or four nights a week. Is that how often you stream? I'd say so. Yeah. I'd say yep, and you're good. one of the late night streamers on YouTube. Absolutely. Yeah, and yep. I mean, uh, I'm only able to stream late and watch late streams during this quarantine because before this once this quarantine is over i can't do that anymore because my job is one of those early bird jobs and so uh, that's why i've been streaming late and watching other streamers late and but I, i'd miss it make me appreciate the, the old days before i had a morning job where i could stay up late and do let's plays and commentaries and streams and, and join other people's streams so and mega dance channel is one of those streams where man you can go in there and connect with a great group of people while he's playing a game that you may not care about, but it won't matter because he's yeah. such a great host and it's so fun to watch his streams. He's not toxic. He doesn't treat the viewers like garbage or anything like that. And that's one of the reasons why that. I'm a member of your channel because I don't, uh, you know, if I'm going to pay membership to a channel, it's, it's I got to make sure of that. That, well, I really uh, appreciate that. That is someone nice that, even that was just a dollar or two a month or whatever it is, it's still paying money. And, you know, you mm -hmm. don't want to give any amount of money to anybody that, uh, uh, you don't support or, or maybe is is not uh, toxic yeah exactly yeah. and so yeah and so again I, I'll, I'll plug the link in the description box I still haven't man I'm so like outdated I, I don't use the uh, what's it called the uh, the cards on the what's it called like when you say click on the link and you point up at the video and there's these cards that's supposed to link you to a new another video Oh, okay. I've never used those yet. I've always like the end cards. Uh, gotcha. Yeah, they, or or links like uh, click here. No, remember back in the day they got rid of it. It's called uh, annotations. They got rid of that because they said it was outdated. And oh yeah, I remember the annotations. Yeah. I'm trying yeah. to think of what they call yeah. that. I can't think of the word. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Of course. I just say check the description. I'm too lazy. Check the description box below for the link. <laughs> yeah, I kind of do that too. Yeah. And you know, come to think of it, speaking la lazy, it's kind of funny. I might be one of the laziest streamers on YouTube, and you might think, "What do you mean by that?" Because a lot of times, I let the CPU do the work. I don't feel like <laughs> yeah, playing. By TCW. Yeah, by TCW. <laughs> like, uh, if I may not feel like playing, and uh, those are called because some people come in and they think, "Oh, we're out like you." Well, Ronnie, you're good at fighting games. I'm like, but that, that was <laughs> me. That was a CPU on the hardest difficulty going at it. <laughs> Uh, yeah. And I mean, people, yeah. Considering how the, yeah, the highest difficulty CPU is that it cheeses itself, and it basically. <laughs> I was like, wow. For the highest difficulty setting CPU, it's not very smart. Yeah. yeah a lot of times they stand and they just look at each other. <laughs> yeah. And some yeah. People, yeah, because on very easy, it'd be a boring wrestling match or a boring fight. You want to see now the hardest difficulties. A bunch of crazy cool stuff happens on sure. there. Sure. Yeah, I'm going to tell you what. I, I love it when you do WrestleMania 2000 and Revenge. I, that, those are awesome streams, dude. I love watching that. And yeah, then you fun. just talk to the chat. That's, that's a lot of fun. That's yeah. a good idea. Yeah, because like streams like tonight, which don't get me wrong. I mean, I like playing the games, of course. But streams like tonight I did, Mary Girl Solid. I, like, I'm really focusing on that because, man, I'm so rusty at it. I mean, I'm just, like, practicing up until the stream because, I, I, you know, it's so frustrating me being lost, not knowing what to do. I don't mind people backseat gaming. Like, people help me out in the chat. That's cool. But at the same time, a game I'm not too good with or a game that really requires your attention. And I'm playing it, and at the corner of my eye, I can see the chat moving. But, you know, I'm like, all right, just like you, you, you play the game for a while, and then you say, all right, guys, hold on, I got to catch up to the chat. Because it, yeah, you just yeah. can't keep up with it all the time, especially when you're focusing so hard on something. And there are times where I just want to chill. I want to have a game going and then chill and talk to you guys without having to 
and focus so hard on. I totally get that. No, I, I totally understand, man. Sometimes that's kind of what I would say is you just want to do a chill stream, dude. You just want to relax, talk to everybody. No pressure. No pressure, yeah, man. Yeah. You're yeah. right. Sometimes, you know, you're trying to focus on a game and you might be even getting, like me, frustrated with the game or something because you're competitive or whatever, man. You're just getting frustrated. Maybe you're playing a game that's not so good. You're trying out for the first time, whatever. But then you got the chat, too. That's a whole other element. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's, it's, it's definitely nice to have those streams where you can 100% focus on the chat. You can keep up with it. And I, I totally get where you're coming from, man. But I think I love it when you do the WrestleMania 2000 one. I think. They're a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. Those, those are fun. And I, um, during my charity stream, when I, when I was up and about and back on commentary, I had Ultra Street Fighter 4 going. And someone, I guess someone was lurking, and in the Twitch stream they said, "So do you actually play?" <laughs> I said, "Hey, how's it going, so and so?" Um, uh, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> That's all I said. <laughs> so because they, they know I was using CPU versus CPU mode, and they were thinking, "I think this guy's not playing." Because most streams, you think most people are playing the game, right? You know, I'm me. I'm over here letting the CPU go at it, and they're probably like, mm -hmm. "Does this? Do you even play, bro?" Like, yeah, mm -hmm. sometimes. <laughs> and but what's fun is that I, I allow people to interact. All right, guys, who you want to see next? Who you want to see fight next? Let me know. And Capcom yeah, vs. SNK 2, man, that, that's like my favorite fighting game of all time. Uh, it's fun to stream that and say, all right, guys, who you want to see next? All right, so and so yeah. versus so and so. And it's, it's fun to interact with that because and, and to give the the audience a chance to watch something that they want to see. Ooh, have Ryu versus Ken. I want to see that classic match. Yeah, Bo believe yeah. me. Any anybody who's listening to this. When you go and you have Ron Moore set up in his streams like a King of the Ring tournament, if you're a wrestling fan, dude, it's so much fun to set up certain wrestlers facing like Kane and Taker, who's going to win. And, and you find yourself like cheering, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. If you got a favorite guy or something, it's a lot of fun to watch. It's crazy to see on the hardest difficulty who computer is going to have win. You know, it's, it's really fun to watch. I, I love it. And we talk about wrestling back in the day. Hey, yeah, like, yep. uh, like a lot of my friends, like they, they they look at me funny, like who the heck is Far Ferguson? And not mm -hmm. many people know who that is. And I remember it was Omega Ace Gaming, another cool channel that I like. He, mm -hmm. I was in his stream uh, yeah. a few weeks ago. No, he was in, no, we were in Danny's stream. Danny was streaming Mega Man Legends, I think, if I remember correctly. And me and Omega Ace Gaming were in there talking. And yeah. uh, you, uh, uh, for some reason, Danny, you said Turd Ferguson. <laughs> and, 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 I, and I, of course, me and my wrestling infested mind thinks Friar Ferguson of all people. <laughs> and you might think, who is Friar Ferguson? Exactly. No one remembers Friar Ferguson. And, and I know Michael Tibet, a, a friend of mine, Tibbs, knows who that is. And we talked about that a little bit. But he was also known as Bastion Booger. You probably don't know who that is either. Was back in the WWF days in the, like 93, 94. And the Friar Ferguson was like this uh, Shaolin Monk gimmick, or whatever the heck it was. And I said mm. that in Omega Ace Gaming, he knows a bit about wrestling too. He goes, who? And then he goes, no, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> Dude, I think I know you talk about. Dude, that is so random. Why would you say that? <laughs> like, only Ron Moore would say something like that. Random yeah, that that's Ron reference. Moore in a nutshell. Yeah, it was yeah. randomness. Yeah. Exactly, and Jeff from uh, old uh, S2K buddy Jeff, like, everything has to go back to wrestling. You know, like... <laughs> You, you, Otherwise, you're, you're talking about the show Sega of America. Yeah, and you're talking about the show <laughs> Matlock. I'll go headlock. Like some, <laughs> it always goes back to wrestling. So, my mind gets triggered to go back to wrestling for some reason, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what cracks me up is there's this been this. I hate to use the word virus, like it's a bad thing in this situation, yeah. but there's this virus going around right now all across the YouTube community with retro gaming. Everybody's saying ECW this, ECW. <laughs> <laughs> you have spread everywhere. Yeah, we got that started. <laughs> yeah, T Belly, T Belly. The other day, I said it in T Belly's stream, and he goes, "Oh, Ron Moore is in the building," and the, everybody's like. Ron Moore's not here, and he's like, oh, I'm seeing everybody saying it, e ECW. <laughs> yeah. You remember you were in, in J Stream, and you said ECW, and he was looking around for me, but I wasn't there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's great, man. That's great stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah, it's just, man, it's just like, 
I, I like how did that all start? Because back then I liked ECW, and then I just made me the audience chat in ECW, and then I always describe something cool. And then DJ Rudin, well, why don't you just say something's awesome or cool? Yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. DJ Rudin's in Solid Nate Stream, and DJ Rudin's like, why, why, what is this ECW? And he knows wrestling, so he's like, I know what ECW is, but. Why are you saying that? That doesn't make any sense. So I put in a link to the video describing what ECW is to the Ron Mower channel. And he comes back like three or four minutes later, DJ comes back and goes, dot, dot, dot. Why don't you just say it's awesome, dude? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because that's so passe. It's not extreme. It's not ECW. Yeah. Plus, and so now uh... I made the command in my chat room, command ECW video, because command ECW initiates the ECW chant, but ECW, command yeah, ECW, ECW video is, it will post a link. So, me or whoever, instead of you having to go and copy paste link, now you can type in command ECW in my streams. The bot will post a link. And yeah, if you have three minutes to spare, it'll explain why I always say this is ECW or that's ECW. Yeah. Back then, 2010, yeah. people were like, what? And I did a video, uh, October 2010, I think it was the 25th, uh, oh my God. the 25th anniversary of the NES. All right, and I, and I was that was back when I was like I had a webcam or whatever you would see me on cam, and I was just showing my little NES collection, and I would say just nonchalantly, like without thinking about it, because it's so natural to me, I would go, okay, this right here, this is Shadowgate, very underrated, yeah. very ECW. I put it down, <laughs> and then I pick up another game. This is Contra. Everybody knows what this is, ECW game. Like I would say it without thinking about it, and someone posted a comment saying. Hey, that's a great video, but what's with all the ECW references? <laughs> <laughs> and I say, you know, yeah. I, I need to make a video about this because it, it, <laughs> yeah. it's like I told you. It's like I told you, Ron. I, I said this the one time in Ron's stream. I said, Ron, I bet you you're the type of dude that goes to like the auto parts store and you're gonna go up and you're gonna buy something. And you go and you put it up at the counter, and the guy tells you, "Yeah, that'll be. Oh, uh, it's listed for thirty dollars. It's actually on sale, though. It's on sale for twenty dollars." And you're like, "Oh man, that's pretty ECW." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, our old friend J Man, the J Man. Um, he said years ago, this is like ten years ago too, around the same time when all this started on YouTube. Um, he was a, a pizza delivery guy at the time, and he got a good tip for somebody. He he said as soon as he got in his car. He goes, he started counting his money, he goes, all right, ECW. And, then it, and, and, that's, and that's when it hit him. He goes, man, did I just say this is ECW? It's because of me. <laughs> that is awesome. I'm, I'm telling you, man, you have me dying during your streams. I crack it up. They're a lot of fun when you say that. That's, that's brought this whole new element. Like, everybody's saying that. Now everybody's putting their name with it. Like, if I go to a Ron Moore stream, everybody goes, What's up, Mega ECW29? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Miles and Power with his use of ECW references. <laughs> I remember... Oh, Miles is great. Yeah. I remember, is. I remember, He's awesome. I remember Jeff was taking it, like, a little bit too seriously. Well, he was also... He said he was also a little drunk. But, like, it was, like, two months ago, the S2K live stream of Metal Gear Solid 2. I said, all right, we're here with Jeff, Ravna Spectre, with Sons of ECW. And he goes, oh, oh, it's it's Sons of Liberty. Get out of here with that ECW crap. <laughs> That's hilarious. And, and, you know, it's crazy because in our community, there are so many, I'll go ahead and say, like, old school wrestling fans, like 90s wrestling fans. So every, every time Ron comes in, everybody starts talking about wrestling. Giants look <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. All the giants look different. Pardon my mother. <laughs> <laughs> no oh, for some reason, I thought that was on Dan's end. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but she goes, it's very ECW. Yeah, 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 and it's very ECW. You know, that's not the first time. That's not the first time someone's mother made an appearance on this channel because our very first LP part one of Ninja Gaiden 2009. I said, all right, everybody, hit hit play right now. As soon as you hit record, you can hear Jeff's mother. Hey, you gonna get your clothes out of the dryer? <laughs> and so I left it in there. It's still in there. It's still Just there before to the got married. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I said, I said, um, um, welcome to closing the drawer for the NES. This is Rumble on with Jeff and his mother, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what, if, what if you would have seriously right there, Ron, heard in the background? Um, are you telling your friends uh, that Bushido Blade Warrior is uh, ECW? <laughs> right, yeah. Oh, dude, I accidentally got someone in trouble with their uh, Gunstar Hero 21. I accidentally got him in trouble with his mother 
uh, back in, what was it, 2010, um, there was this inside joke where he goes, um, like he has this, like, Italian-type accent voice. He goes, um, Laws, um, my baby brother just walked to the room. He's making noise. I apologize. And so I made reference to a joke and talking about, um, where he has said that, uh, his mother would give me any money or, no, his mother walked in and I, I think I made a joke. It, we were on commentary. It wasn't the live stream. It was a commentary. And I said, I forgot exactly what I said, but his, his, his mom walked in and heard that. No, he was, he was playing back the video we had already done together. So he's playing it back, watching it. And he goes, um, Green's mother walked into the room and now he's grounded. It's like some sort of little joke. And then <laughs> she, she, with her temper, she goes, what? Your friend's talking smack? That's it. You're not getting your money. And she leaves the room. And I go, oh, shoot, what? He told me, dude, you got me in trouble with my mother. He knew it was an accident, but he's like, dude, you got me in trouble by saying I played it back, and she had happened to walk in and hear that. I go, oh, my bad, dude. I didn't mean to. <laughs> oh, that's, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And so um, I guess another question I wanted to ask you um, is uh, when did you – how long has your channel actually been around? I know I could look myself and see when the – account was created but when was your channel created or or like for example mine was created in july 07 but i didn't really start doing videos to like september or the oldest videos you'll see on there is october 2007 so when was your channel like created and when did you really start doing things on it like as far as live streams or uh, videos i remember you did a billy mitchell video where yep. he was accused of cheating and all that stuff and like so you, yep. you've been doing this for quite a few years now yeah, I think it was August of 2018, I think. I'm guessing. I think that's it, though. And I, uh, you're right. It was about Billy Mitchell. And the reason I really started a channel was <clears throat> I was a part of a lot of Facebook groups back then. And I always wanted to find somebody or a group of people that I could basically enjoy retro gaming with because I still played all these old games. I wasn't really playing new ones anymore. And basically, Facebook groups were just really toxic, and I wanted to kind of just get away from it, man. It was it was people always trying to one up each other with their collections and who did what, and a lot of drama that I just didn't really want to be a part of. So I started. I I'd been watching on YouTube. I'd been watching AVGN and Pat the NES Punk and things like that since about '09, a very uh, decent amount of time at this point, and uh. So I knew about YouTube, so I was watching it, and I met, like, NES Addict. He was one of the main people that got me to do this. And I would watch his Beat It episodes where he just beat games and stuff like that, and I got really into it. I thought this guy was really cool. And I started going to, uh, they're now Pixel Game Squad, but they were Superhero Game Squad back then. I would go to their live streams, and I would hang out and see them, and it was Aaron from uh, Retro Liberty. And I would hang out over there, and it just... I started kind of wanting to record and talk to people about video games. I needed a place to go. So I ended up posting a video about Billy Mitchell and I got a lot of really nice replies and there was really nice people that even if they disagreed with me, we know we could talk and everything would be fine. You know what I'm saying? And they could say their point and this and that. And so I was having a lot of fun with that. Well, I just got into like, wow, why don't I just set up my camera on my phone on this tripod or leaning it up against something and just show what I can do because I'm down here playing video games all the time. So I put up like a Contra No Death Run and I beat Mike Tyson's punch out. I beat this and I beat that and I'm putting all this stuff up. And I remember NES Addict had found me and he was just like, wow, that's really cool how you, how you can do that. That's crazy, man. Here, try this game and try that game. And it just got to the point where I was like, hey, Jay, uh, I got his number and everything. I was like, what does it take to stream, man? And he's like, well, it's actually really easy. And it costed me, I bought a $130 laptop. I got the Elgato that I already had. I got lucky to already have one of those. And then there's this little piece you got to buy that's like 15 bucks. And I started live streaming. It just kind of started from there. And uh, it started out where just a lot of people work came in or people I knew in my life somewhere. And basically, it just bloomed into me meeting people in the community, and now I've met all these new people, and it's kind of just snowballed. And I just have a lot of fun enjoying video games with people, and we started doing No Death Run, started becoming a part of my channel, because it gave me a reason to play a lot of these games again, was, here, I want to play Russian Attack, I beat it. 
how can I challenge myself to not just beat it, but I want to have a reason to be playing this? Well, okay, let's no death run it. You know what I'm saying? So if I die, I got to start over. You know, I just kind of started. And um, that's that's kind of it, man. And now I just play through stuff like from my childhood that I want to get back at and beat. And uh, it's really cool enjoying everybody else's channels and just being a part of this community. I can't even... I could go on and talk for 20 minutes, 30 minutes about the community and how great it is. And just how blessed I am to meet all people like yourself. And um, it's just, it's been a lot of fun, man. But that's kind of how it started. Just kind of start off from recording on a cell phone, man. Being really low quality to, here, let me try to spend a little bit of money. And just try to live stream. And there you have it, man. I'm still using the same laptop from like three years ago. Uh, That's (laughs) impressive. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. a lot of people that are familiar with this channel and my Ron Moore channel already know my story, so I won't get into it. But, man, I, like, started – like Jay said, I'm, like, OG. And I was thinking, yeah, I guess I kind of am OG because YouTube started in 2005, but I didn't really start to 2007. And so I guess Jeez. I kind of am OG. Like, I'm not the <laughs> yeah. oldest of Gs, but, yeah, yeah, like – You are the us, man. <laughs> I, I mean, and I'm just – uh, you know, I still do it as a fun hobby. And it, I, I didn't always stream, though, like – I didn't start streaming until like November, December 2016, only on YouTube. And then finally by like 2018 or maybe last year is when I started to give Twitch more of a chance. But Twitch is so different. It took me getting used to setting things up over there. It's different from YouTube. And then I thought, what the heck, I'll try Mixer too. At least I'll, I'll extend a little bit. I don't have much of a... My channels have actually grown as far as like followers in the past month or two. has grown pretty good on Mixer and Twitch, but the views isn't there yet. And YouTube, I've been around for cheese since 2007. So, I mean, you know, that's why I have, like, my, my main views and viewerships when I live stream is mainly people watching on YouTube. And so, yeah, I, I just didn't always – I haven't always been a streamer. I've mainly been, like, a, a reviewer here and there and then mainly LPer. And yeah, then yeah I, just, I just watched your uh, Daydream and Davey one the other day. I like that. Yeah, that was from 2018. Me and Tibbs did that. And yeah, man, then I just finally got to the point where now I'm just, all I really want to do is stream most of the time. And that's not, that's not to say I'll never do videos again. If I do do videos or Let's Plays, it'll mainly be on the S2K channel with like Let's Plays. Like I just got started with DuckTales, uh, part one. And, uh, and so I'm going to get part two hopefully done real soon of that LP. And so yeah, the S2K channel has always been like a side thing. And yeah, man, so, and then you started, you said you started doing this in 2018, and then you are in 2020, and man, your channel has grown so fast. Yeah, yeah I, I think it's done pretty good. And, and you know, with me, man, I'm never really looking for that. Like, the, the goal is, the whole goal was to meet people. And Aaron from Pixel Game Squad told me something a long time ago. It was when I hit... I think it was 500 subs, and he left me a comment on one of my videos and goes, just remember, it's not always about the numbers. What you have, what you wanted, you already have. And he's so, he's so right um, with making friends, um, being on something like I'm doing right now with you. Um, this, this is what I wanted, and, and that's really cool that I've accomplished it. And now, man, I'm just riding the tide. This is giant tide, and I'm just riding it, and it's just fun, and... Love being in your stream. I want to be a part of Danny's streams. I heard that Danny streams. Didn't even know that. Yeah. So, yeah. Yep. And surprises yep, so I... a lot of people. Even God <laughs> gets surprised that I stream. He's like, wait, what? You stream? I'm like, yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, the more the merrier, man. I love watching streams. I don't even watch cable TV or anything. I'm always watching streams. Dude. <laughs> yeah. I'm watching yeah. either WWE Network or YouTube videos or streams. Yep. And, yeah. Or Mixer and Twitch. I like to show support on other platforms too. And so, sure. and man, like the like you said, yeah, you you got the community. That was my goal. To, I mean, yeah, of course, we first started out on YouTube. When I first started on YouTube, um, I wanted to do these reviews and, and let's plays, and I didn't know how, how to do anything. Like, how, how do they capture footage <laughs> like this? Do they have a tripod? And how do they make the quality look perfect? I, I didn't know anything about screen capture software. I thought mm-hmm. these people were using high tech. $100, $200 cameras in front of their P- 
computers or TVs to right. make it look like it's in the game or something. How did they make it so perfect? And then I Seriously. Learned, and then, man, you go back to my older video, especially while the quality was different back then on YouTube as well. But, man, like, my videos from, like, 2007, it was to really 2008, 2009 where my video quality started to get somewhat decent. And mm -hmm. that's why we started the series called Low Budget Reviews because they looked low budget. And it was just, uh, <laughs> like, poor quality and then decent enough to where you can see and hear what's going on. But, man... At first, I just put the webcam from the TV. You had like scan lines appearing in front of the TV and all that stuff. Like I'm trying to play yeah. the game. You see those black <laughs> scan lines? It was terrible. It was humble beginnings. And I wanted to freaking do this so bad, and then I slowly yep. but surely learned how to do it. And like, I, what I really enjoyed more than just becoming a big YouTube channel one day was actually having fun doing this. And then I ended up building a community, meeting people over the years. And then starting the S2K channel was a collab channel with people like J-Man and Wee Guy, Bear13, and all these uh, people that I really did a lot of projects with back then. And man, uh, and then I've still pretty much continued to do this today. And then last year, it was I think late 2018, early 2019, um, I got a notification on YouTube that said, Goblin215 has subscribed to your channel. And I said, okay, cool. And I checked out his channel. And I said, man, this guy, uh, he's been doing a lot of stuff. He does a lot of streams. He has like over a thousand subscribers. And I checked out some of his content. I kind of liked it. And I, I joined one of his streams one night. And then I, from there, uh, it, it felt like I got uh, connected maybe through, I got to know Jay, the NES addict. I think I met some of you, some people that I'm mentioning probably on Facebook groups as well. Uh, Jay Love 81. Uh, yeah, well, I, I think the first time I ever seen Jay Love 81 was her appearance. Her cameo in AB, in the ABGN review. Oh wow! Okay, so you just met her not too long ago. Yeah, I saw that, and, and, cool. and then at the end, ABGN like put the credits of all everybody that made that quick cameo appearance in that review. Yeah. And then I see I would see her around like through uh, chat room live streams, and, and then I click on her channel. I said she looks familiar. Oh yeah, that's uh, she's one of the people that made the that cameo appearance. Uh, in, in that was ABGN awesome. Review. Um, and yeah, man, and then I boom, I like started meet people like uh like you got uh, already knew goblin i connected with him i connected with jay um and let's see i try to think uh nitro online and chaos brian trusty and all these other cool people now lit gaming and uh man i try to think of more people at the top of my head now i'm getting to know uh i keep, I keep saying spring stampede stampede t gaming. belly solid Nate. yeah and man all these people and, uh, some of these i might have been on facebook and then stumbled upon their Channel, uh, YouTube channel that way, but then it, like late 2018 to early 2019 is when I started to, my channel grew big time, and by April of last year is when I finally hit 1K. And that hmm. right there was like, man, that was a good moment for me, like to hit, yeah, to it's hit awesome. 1K. And I remember Nitro Online, I was in his stream during that time, and he goes, hey, Ronnie's at 9, uh, 9 uh, 92 right now, let's show him some love, help him to get that 1K, let's go. And then I, the number started slowly climbing up, and I kept on refreshing the page, and then boom, I hit 1,000. <laughs> and then a week later, the community tab popped up because I was trying to figure out how do people, how are people posting these messages? On yeah. There? And yep. then Goblin said he had to have a thousand subscribers. I said, man, that's lame. But now I, I'm able to do that and post these community tabs, a community post. Let me ask you this, Ron. How awesome is it to be like in streams? and hear people like we make jokes but like like it's got to be kind of cool that everybody's saying stuff like your ecw stuff you know that's pretty cool man like your stuff is spreading you know what yeah, i'm saying that's, 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 that's yeah. pretty cool yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't think it would spread i mean it's just one of those things kind of like those things awesome. where you make a joke you think it's kind of funny, but someone else thinks it's ten times funnier than you anticipate. Yeah, to be. for sure. Like the, yeah. uh, I've always dreamed of being an ECW wrestler, yeah. <laughs> and I didn't. I thought it was funny, but then you, you actually think it's funnier than, than I think it is. And you had and so, me like falling out of my chair, dude, when you did. <laughs> I was just thinking, all these ECW references, like she was there. I always dreamed of being a soldier, and I just immediately in my head thinking i always dreamed of being an ecw wrestler <laughs> <laughs> and now i became a command in my chat room who would have thought that uh, yeah, yeah, for that all the platforms and it's great yeah that will never get old to me dude ever <laughs> so whenever someone I, I see someone like you and mazen typing in command my dream you know before the message actually pops up because of the delay i'm thinking <laughs> 
I was laughing already because I know what it is. <laughs> Some people that are new to my stream are looking at that thinking, okay, what? What? What, what is String Lab saying here? I've always dreamed of being easy to be a wrestler. Yeah. What? Especially those that don't know what wrestling is, or they know what wrestling is, but they don't watch it or, or never heard of ECW. Yeah. And they're like, I don't understand this chat room on the stream. Yeah. What are you talking about? And like, so but someone that's came. Cool. I was sorry, I was going to say real quick. Someone came to my Twitch stream for last week on my Mail Girl Solid stream, right when I first went live. And because when you first go to my Twitch chat room, if you're typing in the chat room for the first time, it shows you the rules of that chat room. Like, all right, guys, welcome. Number one, no spam. Number two, no politics or whatever. When you click on mine, it says, welcome, keep it ECW. <laughs> and so, and the title of that stream was Milger Solid ECW Mantis. And so someone came in for the first time in my stream saying, what, oh my what's, e what's ECW? And I didn't have time to, I was playing, I didn't have time to type in the command. or I don't think that I made the command yet for the video to pop up. So I had to briefly explain it. It goes, oh, okay. <laughs> and, but he didn't say nothing else and then left. He probably just thought, okay, whatever, and just left. <laughs> Hold uh, her back and into the bush. <laughs> yeah. And wasn't yeah. that where we had, to, where I, me and Lay actually had to had send out some uh, trolls? Yeah, that was the stream. Yeah, later on we had those trolls come in. And I was like, at first I was like, you know, whatever. I didn't, I didn't pay too much mind to it. Because, you know, when, 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 no matter if you're a big streamer or a small streamer, every once in a while you're going to get some trolls coming in just to mess with you at random or whatever. Especially if you're playing a favorite game of theirs and you're doing it terribly, which I was playing the game very horribly because I'm so rusty at it and I was just running into Claymore Mines and I didn't have my mind detector or anything. And, sure. and so the guy's like, use your mind detector, you retard. And I was like, yeah, just get him out of here. And, uh, yeah, and, and it's... It's going to yeah. happen no matter what. You're going to have someone mess with especially if you're not playing their favorite game perfect. And that's why I like Ravnus Spectre so much. He made that video that made me subscribe to him where he said, it's not just about get good, get good, get good, but F you. F you. Yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah, man, like, there's, for the most part, I, ha I don't really deal with any trolls at all. Every once in a while, someone come in might be a little weird or shady and then leave. Or some people just come in, just uh, oh, I tell you what was a fun, a fun uh, memory kind of like you were there, Danny, because Goblin had to ban him, I think. Um, yeah, Goblin did his job. It was uh, my Mario All Star. No, I was streaming Mario One, Two, and Three. There's a little. Oh yeah, that one. That one. I remember Mario. that one. I keep, I kept putting him in timeout, and it's like, dude, be nice to us, or we're going to remove you and hide you from the channel. Read yeah. the description. You gotta be ECW. <laughs> yeah. It was. This is before I was on Twitch and Mixer. This is like probably oh God, March of 2018, I think. And so I was live streaming a marathon one, two, and three. I was having input lag, and so I was just doing terrible with the platforming. And I put in invincibility because I got tired of running to enemies or not jumping right because the lag. And so it was cheating, but it still evened out the challenge a little bit because I was still having a hard time with the platforming, falling to pits and stuff. And I couldn't figure out the lag issue at the time. Uh, and mm -hmm. So there was someone that came in at first saying, I don't know which is worse, the gameplay or the commentary. I think I'll go with the latter. And then he left. <laughs> and I didn't, wow. say, I didn't say anything because I just read it as a troll. Whatever, say your thing and then whatever. But, but at least he left after that and didn't keep on trying to, exactly. you know. Exactly. He, he yeah, left. And it was funny. Why don't they just leave? <laughs> yeah, it was it was creative. Yeah. It was funny, not just you suck at this retard. Do this, do that. At least that troll was creative when he did right. it. Right. Yeah. It was creative. And then, but uh, maybe an hour or so later, I was in Mario 2. Now, still, you know, he could tell I was using invincibility. This guy comes in. His channel was called Enjoy It, Bro. And mm -hmm. Jay was in there. Jay from NES Act was in there. And Goblin and Danny and other people. And then uh, he goes, Why are you, why are you using invincibility? And I said, well, I'm having uh, technical difficulties with the controls. I got tired of messing with it. This evens out the difficulty. And then he, he go, every time I've actually died, he goes, you lost. Turn off invincibility. And then I'm going to die again. You lost again. And then I would just make a joke here and there about these Kirby rejects floating around. He goes, Kirby didn't come out yet. Just, he is like just taking everything seriously and being so buttered that I'm cheating. <laughs> and then, and then, and then uh, Jay goes, hey, Ronnie, he's not enjoying it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and then uh, finally, I think he started talking to Goblin about something, and and he told Goblin, "I just can't stand it with douchebags like this cheat." And that's when Goblin banned him. And the Goblin <laughs> goes, "You don't have to be disrespectful, man. There's different ways to express your opinion." And so every once in a while, you're gonna get some 
trolls that coming in and maybe mess with you here and there. But and I just thought, you know, my moderators will take care of it. And if they don't for some reason, like if they're not around or whatever, then I'll just keep playing my game until I get to a comfortable stopping point and then take care of it myself. It's best not to even acknowledge them. Every once in a while, when you're a big or small streamer, you're going to deal with a few trolls here and there because they're going to make fun of maybe the way you talk or if your commentary uh, isn't mm -hmm. appealing to them or your gameplay sucks. For sure. And I, I've been in, I was in Wee Guy's stream a while back, and Wee Guy is a good game player too. But he was really, like, messing up in Super Metroid. He was going the wrong way. He's not familiar with Super Metroid like I am. He's not... Not everybody's going to be familiar with the same game that you are. And part of yeah. me part of me was yelling at the screen, No! No, dude! You, don't go left! Wait, but I didn't actually say that to him because I don't want to be, like, you know, a jerk to him while he's sure. playing the game. And, uh, you know, and just say, Dude, you're stupid! Why didn't you attack the boss with a super missile? Or something. That That's, you know, that's just not... That's not called for. People just want to run their mouth and try to mess with you and troll you and I don't mind backseat gaming in my streams but if you're gonna if it's douchebag backseat gaming then not nah, you're out of here there's no, yeah, there's no time for that. <laughs> yeah yeah and so but man I still, overall I still have fun doing this like I'm, I'm riding that tide too especially the past year or so when I met Goblin then I met you it became a snowball effect and all these new audience these this new audience I had the past year or so because I'm not all about the numbers, but my channel was kind of stagnant as far as growing. Like, I was stuck at seven, eight hundred subscribers for like maybe a year or so. And then, boom, I get connected with Goblin, and then, and then you, and then NES Addict, and then Chaos, and then Nitro, and then whoever else. And then, boom, I start connecting with all these people. Tony's, Tony Lops. Tony Skittles live streams is another one I like. Tony is a good guy. Yeah, and he goes, hey guys, check out the run mower. Check out the run mower, guys. If you like retro and Capcom vs. SNK2, ECW. And <laughs> yeah, and he, he just he's another cool dude. And and he, so man, I like this this past year and a half, my channel has grown. The watch time hours are starting to go. I, I think I barely hit over 2,000 now. It's starting to steadily, slowly, but steadily go up. And so mm -hmm. I'm not all about the numbers. I'm not obsessed with. Oh man, I gotta keep this up. I got you know, it's not about that. But at the same time, of course, I, it's a good thing to see your channel grow. Sure, in numbers. sure, sure. But the most important thing is that you actually enjoy doing this and don't be like, oh, I gotta get another stream out today. Oh, I gotta do this today. And and I know, exactly. I, I know sometimes exactly. I, I may push myself too hard. Like that day I was sick, and uh, that was like a charity stream, and I kind of didn't want to. There is that thought in the back of my mind, like, um, man, man I don't want to. You know, there's gonna be some people anticipating this, and this is for charity. I don't, man, I don't want to cancel or flake out on this. I gotta, I gotta just tough it out. And then, but at the same time, sure. like you and Hulk and Rain was like, man, dude, if you don't feel good, man, just do this some other time. <laughs> but I had a, yeah. I had a system figure out that time though. I'll let Fear Fury 2, for example, a game that can run itself, keep on, res uh, what's it called, uh, looping matches over and over again, ge randomly generating matches, and then. Just have all these something for at least somebody to watch, and my bot will advertise. Hey guys, Rombor's not here right now, but please click the link for the charity. So right. it wasn't for nothing. Oh, and by the way, that stream was 17 hours. Uh, YouTube nice. still hasn't processed all of it yet. It only had 11 hours now. Gee, I don't wow. think it's gonna finish processing. So I'm have to download the Twitch version and upload that onto YouTube because apparently, if you stream too long, it might not fully process the entire stream. <laughs> And I, then, um, yeah, I might not even yeah. do that because I don't think no one's gonna really go back, want to go back and skim through all, uh, all that stuff. And I might just leave it as it is. But what was important that the live stream did go at least 17 hours, and then while I was asleep, the game was running itself. And then people like Danny and others were coming in there, kind of lurking and just saying, "Hey, how's it going?" And then my bot would say, "Hey, I'm not. Ronnie's not here right now." And I would just in my bed, I would check the phone just to see if the stream was going. It's still going, just in case there was a, you know, internet disconnection or something, you know, and, and I saw one part, I don't know how long, I don't know if you noticed this, Danny, I don't know how long it froze, but the the fight between Axel Hawk and Kim, Kim is like a weird glitch, Kim was stuck in the air, and that's all you would see, like, he was trying to move out the way, but he was like, kind of <laughs> stuck in the air, and that's all you would see, and I said, oh, dang it, I gotta get up and reset the emulator, what the heck happened, <laughs> and so... But yeah, man, I, I mainly love to do this for fun, even if I don't get a lot of donations. Like that last week, or uh, the week before that, you, John Kratz, and Elvis Roa donated to me. That was the first donation since like last August. Wow, that's crazy. And, and at Saint, some people will get frustrated with that. Like there's people that say, how come y'all don't donate to me? It's been uh, three or five months. Well, first of all, no one owes us anything. 
Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. You're just playing video games. I mean, yeah. it's there for when people want to. And my bot will advertise it, sure, but I would never say, guys, can y'all help me out? Or can you, if I really need to help, I would just start a GoFundMe or something. That's a different story. But like, <laughs> in a stream, like, yep. I wouldn't say, you know, hey, I, no one's donated to me in a year. Why not? Don't you like my content? And no one owes anybody anything. If someone said that to me in their stream, I'd be like, that that, that, that does not make me want to support them financially at all. No. Yeah. Like, no. like Megan, if you said, how come y'all can't join my channel? If you're a fan of mine, why don't you become a member? I would be like, right. um, you know what? Uh, I might, you know, I'm out of here. I don't know if I want to watch support someone that's going to beg. Right. That, that's For not, sure. yeah, that's not cool. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like how in, for the month of April, I've been, going up and down right, and supporters and it's like okay that's fine that's cool and you don't support me then you don't support me anymore that's cool that's fine yeah exactly and some people yeah. will take away moderation privileges from those that don't come to stream that often and i'm like first of all i don't care either way if you want to take away my wrench that's fine but it's kind of petty because, mm -hmm. like, if, if you or if you two don't come to my stream for a year, I still would not demod you. Because you're still people that I like and know. Don't, I would only demod you if, like, we had a real bad falling out and you must have really done something to piss me off. Or you did something wrong. Or you, you, yeah. or you, or you did some, something wrong in my chat room where you were power hungry and you were just banning people left and right because cause you could. But I wouldn't, like, demod somebody just because they don't come to my stream as often as I would like them to. Yeah. I mean, uh, there's a lot of people that I try to support, and I stream hop here and there. Like, I'll be watching Mega Dance stream for a while. I'll notice for sure. on the sidebar, oh, Goblin's online. Man, I haven't seen him in months. And I, I don't I don't say anything, but, like, part of me kind of feels bad by, like, oh, Mega Dan, I love you, but sure. I, I got to check out Goblin real quick, man. Oh, for sure. Hey, for Goblin, sure. and I'm sure a lot of people have done that to me. Like, they'll be oh, in my yeah. streams, and they'll see, oh, Mega Dan's online with King Griffith Jr., and then they'll leave without saying anything. And that's fine. Sure. I, I don't expect people sure. to say, hey, I'm out of here because Mega Dan's online, or. I don't expect people to be in my stream the entire time. Yeah, I actually I actually just did that the other day where I was streaming and I told everybody I got a notification on my computer that I seen that Richard W went live with Animal Crossing. Yeah. And I actually you know, he Richard has a hard time getting an audience. So I said, you know, Richard's a really good guy. You guys should go check him out. I go, he's live right now if you if you're interested in Animal Crossing on the GameCube. Very first one, man. Like, go check them out right now, man. I mean, I tell people, like, if you want to go watch something else, it's cool, man. I, I think a streaming dude, like, you're stopping at my house. I'm playing video games, and you stopped in my house. You're popping down on my couch, and you're just watching me play games, and we're talking. You know? Yeah. And if you want to take off, and you want to go to another friend's house, and you'll come back later or something, that's cool. Go yeah. ahead, man. Yeah. yeah. You know? That's, yeah. that's basically how I think of streaming as, you know? Well, I've done streams where I didn't have anybody come in. Like maybe an hour or two, and no one talked to me. I had no. I may, I may have a few lurkers, but then I'll go back to zero again. And I'm like, you know, it's whatever. And I still kind of talk as if someone may be there because they might go back and watch the replay, um, or or always see the view counters. Always at one. Or You're like, what, what, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and then like I'll say a joke, and then Danny, will, after lurking for an hour, will type in LOL. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, I am the lurk master because, well, that's how I roll. So you know what, dude? One of the I'll interrupt real quick. I'm sorry. That's no, okay. Um, the one thing that I have to say is one of my favorite things is when a guy just came out the other day and he he goes, "Hey, I wanted to comment on what you were talking about." His name's Dolo the something. And he told me, he's like, "Yeah, man, I'm not new. I've been watching you for about 6-7 months now." And he's been a lurker the whole time isn't that crazy wow. yeah that, that's awesome too man that's it awesome is, man. some people call out their lurkers like hey those of you okay there's 15 viewers right now and only five people talking to me why don't y'all speak up i'm like yeah hey, that's not cool <laughs> don't don't ever pressure lurkers to talk Let's yeah they, make, they got yeah. up on their tv or something you know yeah and yeah. Uh, sometimes tony will say but he, he'll say in a nice way he'll be like hey guys uh feel free to talk don't be shy and that's okay, I get that. Sure, but as long sure. as you're not saying it like, well, start freeloading. Freeloading? But this is free entertainment. This is, we're live streaming. Like, what are you talking about? Like, of course. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, yeah. And we can, we can, we don't have to talk. That's stupid. I mean, we, we should not have to talk if we don't want to. And that's why you should never call out your lurkers. And, and what you said about someone saying, I've been watching for seven or eight months. I've had people tell me in the past, like, I don't know if you remember, Danny, if you remember Minecraft Martin. 
he did some commentaries with us on SC2K, and his channel was hilarious before he just disappeared from the face of the earth. And I hope he's doing fine, because I really don't know what happened to him. And he would do Minecraft videos legit drunk. And he would have his puppet, this puppet talk to him and order him around how to build certain colonies in Minecraft. It's the way he did it was funny. His channel was growing, too. And he stumbled upon awesome. me. He goes, I've been watching your content actually for a few years now. And Michael Tibet's tips told me he awesome. had been watching me since like 2012. And then finally in 2015, 2016, we connect on Facebook on my Rawmore page. I said, I've been watching you for four years, and I'm just now commenting. Dude, that is sick, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. You never know who's watching you. You I'm never know who's you. lurking. And they just don't feel like commenting or whatever and that's fine I would, I would prefer people you know to comment or, or you know let let us know uh some feedback but at the same time uh you know they don't have to and that's fine i when i was starting i first started youtube i was just watching a lot of videos like avgn arm 21 and all these old school reviewers in 2006 2007 and then i decided i finally decided in july 2007 i need to make an account because i want to actually rate these this might have the five star system i want to rate these videos like five stars i want to post a comment or something man those were the days you never know <laughs> who's watching who's lurking and that's why people should never say won't you say something like well they'll say something when they're ready maybe yeah yeah i mean a lot of people do like me there's a lot of times i'll tell you guys because you're my friends but I'll be like, hey, I'm going to go into lurk mode, man. I'm doing this or that. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. like, there's a lot of people, man. Like, what I like to do... Okay, say I didn't know any of you guys. And say I wasn't a streamer. I didn't make videos. I just... I'm just on YouTube like I used to be back in the day. I can tell you this. I never did a, the five-star thing. I never commented on videos. I never did that. I used to watch, like, Mr. 90s Gamer was this guy's name. I used to watch him all the time. Uh, obviously, AVGN, Pathy and Pong, Game Chasers, all those guys. And I never commented or said anything anywhere. And, and I'm telling you, sometimes it's fun just to put, like, let's just say Ron Moore up on my TV. And I'm just sitting there, like, falling asleep or, or resting, you know, getting ready to go to bed or whatever. And I'm just putting you on, dude, and watching what you're doing. And I watch you till I sleep, you know, until I'm, I'm dead, you know. <laughs> so, exactly. And uh, I start making ECW. You know, e yeah. ECW, <laughs> yeah. ECW to punch out the training montage, yeah. and they're over there on the couch, falling asleep. I, I remember when you were playing Ninja Gaiden, and you were doing it to e e ECW, 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 ECW. Oh, yeah. Oh, that one level, ECW, ECW, yeah. ECW. You, you know what level I'm talking about? You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> yeah. Well, they recycle the, the tracks in different levels, but yeah, that one particular track. Dun, 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 like the part where you're in jail. Or where yeah. you, like, you get, you know, the very... Yeah, yeah, movie. you're locked up, and it goes, yeah. Da -da -da -da. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now I go, ECW, ECW, freaking ECW, and I start to get crunk with it, and <laughs> you just gotta, it gets, you just gotta get in the moment, and that's what I love about live streaming and just doing these commentaries, just being myself, and uh, some people said, you know, I have a unique sense of humor, and that's fine, because it's, it's cool to For be different, sure. and some it's people hilarious. might think it's weird, it's not everybody's cup of tea, but it's, it's still you. You're not trying to yeah. rip off anybody else. It's okay to be inspired uh, by somebody and maybe have uh, somewhat similar, but at the same time different uh, content and 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 how and how you uh, just uh, do your commentary or, or whatever. And with Ron Moore, you know, it's just it's just uh, it's not a character. It's just me with a nickname. And I tell you what, we we got to get Paul Heyman to come to one of your streams. That's <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> he'll, he'll copy in all caps, ladies and gentlemen, or he'll actually be in the voice commentary with me. <laughs> My name, yeah, it, yeah, is Paul Heyman. Everybody <laughs> saying it. <laughs> we need him to do an intro for you to all your streams. Get dude, ready for the Ron Amala. <laughs> dude, if he does cameo, I wonder how much he charges if he does cameo. That would be awesome, dude. I would pay for that. <laughs> yeah, dude, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Yeah, my client, Ron Mower, will be yeah. mowing down the competition tonight <laughs> at the ECW Arena. <laughs> okay, that sounded more like Hulk Hogan, but anyway. <laughs> I remember during, uh, real quick, uh, speaking of you singing ECW music, the best one was uh, Metal Gear Solid, when it's like, oh, you're going, ECW. <laughs> oh, yeah, the beginning. Yeah, it's about, it's about, it's about, <laughs> yeah, that very beginning, that, that 
music, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, uh, I don't know if you were there at the beginning when I was fighting Sniper Wolf tonight. Um, and my old friend, I forget his, his last, he has a different nickname in the YouTube channel. His last name is Delphin. He was in there. I call him Zo. And I'll start doing that boss battle music. I was just like, E E C double T T T T T T T T C dub, and then he starts laughing. He starts typing in e dot 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 e dot 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 e c dub. Starts repeating it after me. That's hilarious, dude. Certain tracks just make me just trigger that. Uh, if it fits, if I can't fit it, it'll make it feel like easy freaking dub. I freaking in there to make it fit. Yeah, that's if you need an extra note. You'll go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or the, I think your favorite one was when I paused Mario, not Mario All Stars, yeah. Mario Land 2, the pause sound effect. He goes, do, 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 do. And then for some reason, I just go, E C W. Even I thought. Gonna, you were going to catch up to the chat, and you're like, hold on, guys, I'll catch up in a minute. Yeah, I might have to turn safe states on. I'm having a little bit of trouble here. And then you're like, pausing, you're like, hold on, give me a minute. And he goes, I'll be right back. Go, yeah, okay. Yeah, he you goes, go, E C W. Yeah. And I, I, even, I even think nothing of it. It's like that. Like, uh, just the, uh, I always dreamed of being an ECW wrestler, and then they think much of it after that. And then, like, it's one of those jokes where, where you, like, is actually a lot funnier to you than it is me. <laughs> For sure, dude. I was dead. It's all about perspective. Like, like you might say jokes that you might not think is that funny, then, but me, I'm over here rolling laughing. And so sure. talking about to this day. So, you know, it's all about perspective, I guess, and, and uh, how other people think about it. So it's all, it's all good. It, yep, a, different it, humor, man. I, I, I think that that, that stuff's hilarious. I, I think it's because I always think of like jokes like this, like when people do. Okay, when you're talking Meryl, dude, and she goes, "I always dreamed of being an ECW wrestler." In my, in my mind, I imagine like, dude, what if she really said that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like somebody would make a mod. <laughs> Make a mod Metal Gear ECW or ECW Gear Solid or something, yeah. something like that, and then I just a mod, someone just makes that into a mod, like, and she goes, yeah. like, she's in the training mode of the game, and the voice actress, like, I've always dreamed of being an ECW wrestler, and now, so what now? You want to tap out? I can't tap out. It's like tough enough, but ECW version. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> That'd be hilarious, man. So, yeah. I don't know uh, what else Danny wants to ask you, but I want to ask you uh, one more question. Uh, what would you say is, like, maybe your personal favorite moment in your, I guess, two-year history of doing this stuff on YouTube? Now, what would you say is, like, maybe off the top of your head, like, the most memorable moment where it's an accomplishment you did on the live stream of a no-death run, or or just how much fun you have with a certain stream with a certain game? Like, what would you think your most memorable moment for you personally on YouTube? I mean, I'll have to be just completely honest with this one. And what I would usually say is I would try to think of a moment of time when, like recently, I'm be probably doing a video on it, spoilers, where um, I had problems with my PS2 and just people in the community coming to the rescue, man. And I'll, I'll be having a video about that. But if I had to be 100% honest, man, it's got to be when it's got to be Kane. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's gotta be when I uh, did the, when I finally got the no death run of Battletoads. That oh, moment, yeah. was that crazy. was epic as wow. yeah, yeah, man. man. I, I, guys, I literally, I am a person that I try not. I'm not like cocky or anything. I do not like being like that at all. But I am a person that does usually like believe in myself, and I believe I can do it. I'm never gonna give up, and I definitely had that attitude. But that is the one no death run that had me down and I didn't know if I was going to kick out. You know what I'm saying? I started feeling doubt. That's what I yeah. started feeling. And when I did it, and I look at the screen, I remember like going crazy and then I rose my head up and I looked at the screen just to make sure, dude, I seriously just did this, didn't I? You know, to me, that was accomplishing something that you put so much work in. It was on my mind all day. I'm very competitive with video games. I'm very passionate. And it, it was like seriously like it was kind of like graduating high school and stuff kind of that same type of feeling. I know it probably sounds kind of silly because that takes a lot more work. But yeah, you know, when you were standing up there and you got your diploma, well, did, didn't you have that sense of, man, I did it. I'm actually up here and I did this. That's you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
Yep, yep. When I was standing up with my wife and I said I do, and then she said that she does, you know, it was that, man, out of this long road, me and her, I, I'm finally marrying, like, the girl of my dreams. You know, that that's how I felt. It was like, yeah. man, I finally, I finally got her for the rest of my life. You yeah. know? And, and that's, a, a, it, Battletoads was a small, it wasn't comparable to those, but it was, like, the same type of thing. Like, I had to sit there for a minute after the stream was turned off and I had talked and I had to go, I took the cartridge out of the NES and I had to seriously just look at it and go, man, dude, I, I seriously just know Death Ram, like one of the hardest about all time, dude. This is crazy. I can't believe yeah. I did this. And now I feel like invincible. You know what I'm saying? Now I feel like I can set out to do whatever I want to do. You know, it, yeah. it kind of yeah. changed in a, in a not cocky way. Not, not, not that I'm like the best or something, but like, uh, you know, when you set your mind to something, it's a cliche saying, but you can do it. You know, if you yeah. if you believe you can do it, man, and you freaking try hard, man, you can do yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? And and that was it was that sort of feeling. So I want to make that clear. Like I didn't. It's not the same as graduating or marriage or something like that. It's not the same as that. But yeah, it's, sure, it's, it's that the, same. Uh, 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 you're at the top of the world moment. Yes, it's that moment yeah. of, wow, accomplishment. So for video games in that category of life, something I'm very passionate about, it was, wow, man, I I did it. I freaking did something that was, I don't know if I'll ever have a bigger moment than this in video games, right? So that, it, that's how it felt. It was it was amazing. It still is. I still go back and watch it sometimes. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. and like... If there's a game like I, I knew I, I, I had just no death attempts in the past before I started streaming like in 2015 I did no death attempt to Samus Quest I would get to the point where I would just do my best run and then upload what I could and then move on to the mm -hmm. next challenge the only games I've really no death run as far as making it public is uh, Super Metroid but again that's not too hard Shadow Gate but that kind of don't count because it's trial and error and I remember what to do and not to do in that game and Contra in the live stream. Oh, when I was a kid, when I was a kid, I deep beat Super Mario Brothers one without dying. I tried to do that on YouTube, uh, not in the live stream, but in the video. Seven two was the farthest I got, and before I said, "All right, this is my best run. I'm going to upload it." And then Mario Brothers three, I got to World Five Skyland without dying. And, awesome. And uh, Star Soldier <laughs> said, "That's actually." Awesome. I said, "Dang man, I, I was man. I think I could do Mario three, but it's hard to do no death run." He goes, "You got to World Five though without dying. That's actually not bad." And so. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. Contra, I'm about to say my favorite because uh, that was a, that was live and it took several attempts, I think three streams, for me to do that. And I, I knew I could do it. I knew I could beat Contra without dying. I knew I could, but it was just a matter of when. But I knew I could do it, yeah. so I mm -hmm. kept at it. It was it was like that's exactly what I, what I was gonna say. Like in a moment of watching somebody else. By the way, big shout out to Danny uh, mm -hmm. Bushido Blade on here with us right now. You were there a lot through my Battletoads runs, dude. You were there. And, and yeah. Cheeto Blade, he was small tummy at the time. That was his name. And mm -hmm. you you were there a lot late night with me, man. You were always checking it out. And he, he knows the nasty road of death. Me getting angry. Me being just defeated. Uh, you you were there. And you were there when I finished it. It was awesome, man. And yeah. Oh, that that was one wicked night. Yeah, that was awesome, man. So that's that's a shout out to Danny right there for sure, Ron. And, and that's exactly what I'm saying. Like watching you, listening to you go and get, when you got Contra done, I'm telling you, anybody who's listening to this podcast or c conversation we're having, go back and see Ron Ma Ron Mower's No Death Run of Contra. When you did it, it's so cool to hear you at a different pitch, man. Come out like I did it, I got it. You know, it's like. That that that's what I'm talking about. Like you felt like a, you know, badass dude at that point. You know what I'm saying? And you deserved it. That was a lot of hard work. And see what I mean about that? Just making you, it's almost like a thing in life. That man, I put the work in and it pulled. I pulled it out, man. That was awesome. You know what I'm saying? Like that was that's dope as hell, dude. Yeah, that was an awesome moment, man. It really was. Yeah. Yeah. And so yeah, in the I'm not sure when yet. I plan to do the same thing with Super C. I, I, oh, I, oh, that's gonna yeah, be epic, dude! I actually, <laughs> I actually did a, a an attempt in 2015 in, in a video. Um, the farthest I got was stage six, before I got to Jagger Freud. So awesome! So yeah. I know I can do that one too. It's a matter of time. Uh, I definitely plan to no death run that at some point. 
That'd be but after awesome. Contra, That's a great idea. <laughs> after Contra, I wanted, okay. I wanted to take a break from No Death Runs and just enjoy that for a while. I hear for you. Sure. <laughs> and now I, think, I, I hear think, that. I think now it's time for me to try Super C. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm, I'm going to tell you that I, I deal with... Uh, I deal with no death run fatigue a lot, and sometimes I just want to relax, play through the game, and let that be it. But, uh, Danny, you were saying something, man. I'm sorry I cut you off. Uh, that's okay. Uh, well, my question, I probably have, like, three questions, but what happens to be your favorite Super Nintendo game? Ooh, that's Super Punch-Out, for sure, and the reason it is, for one, it's an awesome game, um, but for two, Punch-Out's one of my favorite franchises, but I... The, the biggest reason is, well, my parents got divorced, and so I would go over to my dad's house on the weekends. I think it was every other weekend. And he had the Super Nintendo. I, like I told you earlier, I grew up with the Sega Genesis, but my dad had the Super Nintendo. Well, one of the games he had was Super Punch-Out. And me, him, and my brother would always play that game over and over and over again, and we would try to get through it. And I was actually the only one to, to beat it, and I still remember the morning when my dad got up, and he was like, you beat a Hoy Cuerlo, and it's the old guy with the stick at the end. And yeah. he's like, holy cow, you beat it, you know, and that's awesome. And it was just, it was a special moment with my dad. That was a special game with my dad that every time I flick it on and I listen to it, um, uh, it, it just it just reminds me of my dad, you know, just big time. It, it's someday when my dad's not around, that's the game I'll look at and I'll have it CIB one day. I definitely want that game CIB so I can look at it and I just, dude, I always remember my dad every time I boot that game up. So it's definitely Super Punch-Out. That's great. And favorite Sega Genesis game? Oh, that's easy. <laughs> I just recently did a No Death on all the characters. And uh, you might have been there, Danny. Uh, uh, yeah, I was probably there for a couple of uh, the hardcore. Yeah, you already knew. <laughs> yep, Contra Hardcore. For sure, man. That's, uh, I had the game growing up. I grew up with the Sega Genesis. That was one of the main games we played. We loved Contra for the NES, so what the heck. You gotta have Contra for the Genesis. So, yep. um, I love that game, dude. Love it. Could play it for the rest of my life. Never, uh, there would never be a year where I don't pop that into my Sega Genesis. That's for sure. Yeah, I mean, it's great, and plus the tool-assisted speedruns to watch, those are pretty enjoyable to see. Oh, wow, well, I gotta check that out. That's where they play, like, perfect, right? Yeah, where they play like a robot, and it's That's just awesome. perfect to the ladder. <laughs> Dude, you gotta, yeah, watch a brownie. You'd have to watch a brownie run. That'd be crazy. <laughs> brownie, eh? Danny, did you say your favorite Dreamcast game was C-Man? <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> You remember Skip Rock? A troll question, but I never had a Dreamcast because I was begging my mom for a Dreamcast. I remember Skip what? Rogers said that was it last night Mega Dance stream. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me ask you this, Ron. Do you like Dreamcast? Uh, you know, I never really played much of Dreamcast games at all. Okay. Did you ever play the WWF Raw game on Dreamcast? No, I haven't. I don't okay, think I've really played Dreamcast that. ever. I remember the hype behind it, nine nine ninety nine, and it was a system that was yep. really going to have Sega make its comeback, and it, it it almost did, but it just didn't quite save them finan financially, I guess. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but I never got to really experience playing any Dreamcast games at all. I know Jeff has. Jeff is a, a big Sega fan. Huge a Sega fan. That's why he's part of Strictly Sega America. Well, that's not actually okay. not a thing anymore. Yeah, the oh, Strictly, Strictly Sega thing, uh, at least, not America. But, uh, yeah, that, that whole thing. Uh, he, Jeff is like one of the um, old school commentators here on SC2K. And, uh, yeah, he, he's a, he was a part of a group called Strictly Sega at the time and that was Ooh. started in Australia on YouTube. And then there was a Strictly mm -hmm. Sega Europe channel, and then he became the Strictly Sega America channel. Okay. Yep. And, yeah, he's a, he loves a huge fan of Sega, and, and I'm sure he loved the Dreamcast. Yep, definitely. Right. And I'm so far asked two questions. Uh, what would, well, N64 maybe, Dan? What about the N64? Which happens to be your favorite one for that system? Oh, my favorite N64 game. That's easy, man. Ron Moore been all over <laughs> WrestleMania 2000 for sure. Oh yeah, wow, that's dude. a great ECW one. Mania 2000. It, yeah, if we're... yep, because of the deadly boys. If we're yep, if we're counting that as a sports game, um, I kind of put that in a different category. But if it's a sports mm -hmm. game, 
then it's my favorite sports game of all time. But I, I always say Ken Griffey Jr. Baseball is my favorite sports game of all time. But, yeah, dude, WrestleMania 2000, I, that's another game I can play for the rest of my life. I love that game. It never comes out of my N64. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's a good game, and then 64 is actually a pretty good console that mm -hmm. people don't seem to understand very much. People yeah, underestimate like it. it. Yeah, I like the 64. It's uh, not the most... I don't think the 64 has the most depth in games. I think it has like three re or 30 really good games, and then yeah. after that... Maybe there's some gems I don't know about, but I'd say it's got a solid like 30 games. Got a solid name yeah. in 30 games. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, do you have another question, Danny? I, that should conclude to all three questions. Very cool. All right, cool. Well, Mega Dan, thank you very much for coming on the show, man. Really appreciate it. Oh, thanks for having me, man. I love being on here with you guys. It's been awesome. And it's been yeah, and thanks for having me as well to ask questions as well, Ron. Oh, yeah, no problem. And um, oh. Mexico is a part of the S2 S2K community. You haven't seen him in a while because he needs a new phone. And I heard he's back. Yeah, he Mexico is a cool guy. I really miss Ernest. I think he's been in Mega Dance Streams before. I don't know if you remember that name hmm. or. I'm trying to think. I don't know. I think I'm thinking of Goblin, I guess. Never mind. But um, mm. but I'm sure like uh, I'll have Mexico listen to this and he'll check out. He, he, likes to, he likes to support people as well. If he likes your content, he'll come to the live nice. and hang out. And uh, yeah. so, yeah, for those of you listening to this, go check out Mega Dan29 if you've not heard of him. Links in the description box because I'm too lazy to put the end cards or whatever you got put in the video. <laughs> and check him out. And just a laid back streamer, very chill with everybody, welcomes each and every new uh, YouTuber that comes in to chat. He'll take a time to actually applaud them and say, yep. Hey, let's welcome so and so to the stream. And uh, me, I, I like to welcome everybody that comes in too, but I don't, I don't, I don't even go through the trouble. Just, just hey, let's everybody welcome so and so. <laughs> I don't know if someone did that to me, I feel like, Whoa. Oh hi! I got frozen, but oh hi! I'm the awkward new guy walking in. Hey everybody, yeah, look you at want... this guy. Give him a hand. Yeah, I try to Indeed. make everybody ha feel like we all want you here. You know, you can yeah, talk. You good. don't have to talk. You know, it's it's all about positivity. You know, yeah. trying to let we're we're nice here type of deal. You know. In my yep. streams, I kind of have my my guard halfway up because someone could be coming in for the first time with with ill intentions. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Oh yeah. So, but yep. yeah, you and I like how you just really. I just say, hey, let's make, hey, so and so, welcome to the stream. And you didn't do that mm -hmm. for me when I came in, but that's okay. <laughs> no, 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 I'm, I'm joking. But uh, but yeah, Mega Dan, like, he, it's, it's, he's easy. Like, I've been to streams where they don't necessarily make you feel welcome. Like, I went to this one YouTuber one time for the first time. And I said, hey, how's it going? And he goes, Ron Mower. What the, what the f is up with that name, dude? And that's all yeah. he said. He went back to playing this game. <laughs> and I'm like. You know what? Never mind. I don't even know who you are anyway, because apparently I subscribed to him, and I saw he was live on my sidebar, and I decided to drop in for the first time, and I just told him, I typed, oh, well, okay, you know what? Never mind. I don't even know who you are anyway. I just left and didn't come back, because I really yeah. didn't know who this was that I subscribed to, and I thought I'd go in and check it out, and how are you going to make fun of, I, I, I get it, you know, Ron Moore, what the heck? You mean Ron Moore? I get if you want to, if you read someone's username, and you're like, what the heck is that? But you don't actually right. say that to somebody and when they come into your stream for the first time, you're I, supposed to make them feel welcome. I actually yeah. asked Danny that once. Danny, I asked you why is your name Tommy? I remember asking you that. I was like, hey, oh. it's, it's like it's like the way to go about it. I hear what you're saying. Yeah, Ron. like you, you went in a nice go, way. You yeah. Like, small yeah. Hey, everybody. Everybody, welcome small Tommy. <laughs> what, what kind of name <laughs> is that, dude? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the story behind that, since you asked me, is that I tried to enter one of Ron's contests 12 years ago, and I didn't necessarily have a microphone, but I had a crappy, well, a pretty good camera with replaceable batteries that can make, uh, uh, like, very short videos, and I tried to make my YouTube channel recognized by that, and then Charlie from Strictly Sega of Australia is like, what the f*** is this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he said, you really <laughs> smashed me hard on that one, and it kind of crushed my frail ego. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. But yeah, like, I, I just saw that, I, I saw that, and I was like, no, nah, I gotta, you know, I gotta have more to it than this to for it to be entered. It was just like a, what is it, a, a 12 second video of you recording footage in the background with no commentary. I'm like, Danny, I gotta have more than this, man. 
I got, I got, <laughs> for sure, 30 try. seconds, I would have to bite-size my words just to make something about but, but, it. But you said the username, you had to, you said you're going to come up with something random. Yep, uh, it was basically, I'm going to... Uh, it wasn't a generator, but I just came up to my mind, and I was kind of hungry on Thanksgiving Day that year. <laughs> uh, okay, but well, there you go. Yeah, like P. The Keto yeah. Blade's a lot cooler. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah. that. I mean, it was difficult enough that people were considering me as a girl, and I'm like, I'm a guy! <laughs> you just assumed my gender! Come on! <laughs> yeah, and... Yeah. Uh, Ron Moore, people think I mowed lawns for a living. I used to mow a lot of lawns. Like, not really. <laughs> I've never... But I know the story behind why you were good. I mean, I have mowed lawns, name. but I had never done it for a living. I hardly ever done it in my life. That's why I made my own meme. Um, I, I should reshare that. I think I still have my computer somewhere. I shared a meme where it's an old picture of me from 2009. And I'm just looking at the camera. And at the top it says, Ron, nickname is Ron Moore. And on the bottom it says, hardly ever mowed a lawn a day in his life. <laughs> and so, it's only because you're good in volleyball. Oh yeah, that's how I get. Did I tell you that, Dan? How I got that name? Yeah, <laughs> yep. You told me it's because you're in volleyball. They called you Ron Mower because yeah, you'd hit them. And you'd stuff. mow it in the people. <laughs> Actually died after that, but then like ten years later, when I was all grown up and stuff, I got a job. Like I told people that, and they thought it was the funniest thing, and ended up getting a name tag <laughs> called Ron Mower. And I awesome. said, and when I got online in 2003, when I got on computer, I was like. What nickname should I come up with? Well, that was a no-brainer. Got it. Got it. <laughs> yeah, Ron for Moore. sure. <laughs> and then I got on YouTube yeah, in 2007. So. Well, what am I going to use? Jeez. Hmm, let me see. Maybe Ron Moore? A trusty old <laughs> Ron Moore name? And so that's how that came about. And it has nothing to do with me mowing lawns. And, well, well, how'd you get the yep. name? Oh, because your name is Ronnie? But well, you don't mow lawns? No, I just got from playing volleyball. <laughs> yep, what? sir. Like how I got mine uh, in volleyball powerhouse. <laughs> yeah. No, there you go. There you go. ECW yep. ball. It's been awesome talking to you, Danny. Finally putting the uh, voice to the to the screen name. Very cool. Yep. And that about does it here for this interview, the chill session with Mega Dan. So, if you guys had not heard of him, please go subscribe to his channel. Look at his channel, and he streams uh, pretty regularly. Especially if you can stay up late overnight and man, just watch the stream. Either King Griffey Jr., Contra Shatter Soldier, or whatever he feels like streaming. He's a laid back, easy, he'll make you feel welcome. There's a good community of people in there to connect with as well. Please check yep. out his channel. Yep, and he's hilarious when he rages, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, and that does it. We are out of here for Danny. I'm Ron Moore and Mega Dan. Again, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you for having me. You guys have yep. a great night. God bless and take care. Have a great weekend. Follow the Black Cat. <laughs> God bless, guys.